the shots. I want to go to David Schweitzer, former detective with Santa Ana PD. Uh, Schweitzer, thank you for being with me. Explain quickly how we're going to do a ballistics match. Well, Nancy, let me correct you on one thing. You could actually find fingerprint, gun fingerprints on shell casings. I think the other guests would agree with that. There's usually pin markings on that, but with the projectiles, you'll get striation marks that are characteristic of the barrel of the gun. Uh, David, that's what I'm referring to. Could you please explain how it's done now? Well, what will happen in the crime lab is the experts will shoot the gun into a controlled setting and then take out projectiles, compare them in a microscope with the projectiles that they've uh, located. They'll also take a look at the barrel itself under a microscope. And back to Dr. Michael Arnold, one thing that would concern me trying to get a ballistics match from the uh, sh uh, bullets potentially in the body is if the bullet goes through bone or organs, does that ruin the bullet, doctor, for potential ballistics match? It can deform the bullet, but it frequently does not deform the bullet sufficient to obscure those little marks that you've been talking about. There's a good chance they will get a match if it is the murder weapon. And you know, it's not a very difficult process at all. Uh, no, you take not. the weapon that's found, say this weapon in this vacant lot, you put the ammunition in it, fire it, for instance, into a barrel of water, you get it out, and when you look at that bullet compared to a bullet taken from the body, it's almost like a fingerprint, Dr. Arnall, because it certainly is. Uh, the way it works is when a gun is created, is manufactured, the metal cools and it leaves certain marks inside the barrel, and as the bullet hurtles through, it leads, st leaves striation marks on the bullet. Have you ever seen or made that comparison, Doctor? Right. Every time we take a bullet out of a body, we look for those little striations, the exact ones you're talking about, and when we see those striations, we know that ballistics will be able to compare those to the gun. We're going through all the evidence that we picked up. We're following every possible lead that might develop. When they come up, we run them down. And our detectives are continuing to work around the clock, following up any possible leads that might be available and out there. No, we will solve this case.